So ladies and gentlemen, if I have an exponent and I raise it to another exponent, we know that we multiply these two exponents. All right? Now, we're not going to be raising logarithms to logarithms in this class. But let's say I have m times log base, um, hold on, let's see here, log base, uh, log base x of n, all right, raised to the m power. Sorry, not this one. That raised to the m power. So n is being raised to the m power. Now, That's if it, no, no, no. We want to know how we're going to rewrite it. So if I have log base x of n raised to the m power, right? So now we talked about when we had exponents, we took one and raised it to another. We multiplied the exponents. Well, on a logarithm, this is a little bit more difficult, a little bit more of a stretch than product and quotient. But when we have a variable or whatever our term is being raised to a power, we can rewrite that as the multiplication of log base x of n. Yeah, very close to my clock. So let me show you how to expand that and condense with some numbers. So what if I said log base 7 of x squared? And then maybe if I did um, x minus 1. Now let's just do something easy. Let's do 3 times 4 to the x minus 1. Okay, So to expand this, all I'm simply going to do is I can rewrite this, ladies and gentlemen. Instead of taking this and raise it to the m, I can rewrite it as the multiplication. So I can just rewrite this as 2 log base 7 of x. And then here, I can condense it by bringing this right back up there to log base 4 of x minus 1 cubed. So that's how you can quickly expand and condense using the power rule. So remember, if you have that exponent, you can bring it down in front. All right? All right, so I know I'm kind of going over a lot of examples real quick. Um, 